Archdiocese of Santa Fe Catholic Schools. Faith in Education. We are 15 elementary schools, St. Michael's and St. Pius X High School. Proven academics. 99% of our high school graduates attend college. Our schools are communities. Small class sizes and activities that bond students. Catholic values and traditions. Theology and community service programs. More affordable than you think. Have faith. In Catholic education. Archdiocese of Santa Fe Catholic Schools. Learn more today. of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, and the love of God, and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. And with your spirit. My dear sisters and brothers in Christ, to prepare ourselves to celebrate these sacred mysteries, let us call to mind our sin. You are the one who gives us life. We pray to you, Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. You are the one who shares with us God's mercy. We pray to you, Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. You are the one who reveals to us God's undying love. We pray to you, Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us. Forgive us our sin and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Glory to God in the highest. In and on earth, earth peace to people of good will. We praise you, we bless you, we adore you, we glorify you. We give you thanks for your great glory. Lord God, heavenly King, O God, almighty Father. Lord Jesus Christ, only begotten Son. Lord God, Lamb of God, Son of the Father. You take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. You take away the sins of the world, receive our prayer. You are seated at the right hand of the Father, have mercy on us. For you alone are the Holy One, you alone are the Lord, you alone are the Most High, Jesus Christ, with the Holy Spirit, in the glory of God the Father. Amen. Let us pray. O God, who in the abasement of your Son has raised up a fallen world, fill your faithful with holy joy. For on those you have rescued from the slavery of sin, you bestow eternal gladness. We ask this through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever. Amen. A reading from the book of the prophet Ezekiel. As the Lord spoke to me, the Spirit entered into me and set me on my feet. And I heard the one who was speaking to me say, Son of man, I am sending you to the Israelites, rebels who have rebelled against me. They and their ancestors have revolted against me to this very day. Hard of face and obstinate of heart are they to whom I am sending you. But you shall say to them, Thus says the Lord God, And whether they heed or resist, for they are a rebellious house, they shall know that a prophet has been among them. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. <laughs> are fixed on the Lord, pleading for his mercy. Our eyes are fixed on the Lord, pleading for his mercy. Do you 
you I lift up my eyes who are enthroned in heaven as the eyes of servants are on the hands of their masters our eyes are fixed on the Lord pleading for his mercy as the eyes of a maid are on the hands of her mistress so are our eyes on the Lord our God till he have pity on us our eyes are fixed on the Lord pleading for his mercy A reading from the second letter of St. Paul to the Corinthians. Brothers and sisters, that I, Paul, might not become too elated because of the abundance of the revelations, a thorn in the flesh was given to me, an angel of Satan, to beat me, to keep me from being too elated. Three times I begged the Lord about this that I might leave me. But he said to me, my grace is sufficient for you, for power is made perfect in weakness. I will rather boast more gladly of my weakness in order that the power of Christ may dwell with me. Therefore, I am content with weakness, insults, hardships, persecutions, and constraints for the sake of Christ. For when I am weak, then I am strong. The word of the Lord. Thanks, Thanks be to God. God. <clears throat> Lord be with you. And with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Mark. Glory to you, O Lord. <clears throat> now Jesus departed from there and came to his native place, accompanied by his disciples. And when the Sabbath came, he began to teach in the synagogue. And many who heard him were astonished. They said, Where did this man get all of this? What kind of wisdom has been given to him? What mighty deeds are wrought by his hands? Is he not the carpenter, the son of Mary, the brother of James and Joseph and Judas and Simon? Are not his sisters here with us? And they took offense at him. And Jesus said to them, A prophet is not without honor except in his native place and among his own kin and in his own house. And so he was not able to perform any mighty deeds there apart from curing a few sick people by laying his hands on them, for he was amazed at their lack of faith. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise, Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Christ. St. Mark tells us of an experience Jesus had again early in his ministry. He returns to his native place, probably Nazareth in Galilee, and he's accompanied by his disciples. 
by now his reputation has followed him and his own relatives and neighbors find it hard to accept him they openly reject him how can the one who is sent by God to bring salvation to the world be somebody we know so well but the problem is that his friends and relatives and neighbors knew about Jesus they did not know Jesus Throughout all of the sacred scriptures, beginning at the very beginning book of Genesis, to know someone in sacred scripture is to love them, to know them as a person, and to accept them. And this knowledge was lacking to those who thought they knew Jesus well. But we are called to reveal to the world that we know Jesus, we don't know just about him. I believe in one God, the Father Almighty, maker of heaven and earth, of all that is visible and invisible. I believe in one Lord Jesus Christ, the only begotten Son of God, born of the Father before all ages, God from God, light from light, true God from true God, begotten not made, consubstantial with the Father, through him all things were made. Us men and for our salvation, he came down from heaven and by the Holy Spirit was incarnate of the Virgin Mary and became man. For our sake he was crucified under Pontius Pilate. He suffered death and was buried and rose again on the third day in accordance with the scriptures. He ascended into heaven and is seated at the right hand of the Father. He will come again in glory to judge the living and the dead and his kingdom will have no end. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Lord, the giver of life, who proceeds from the Father and the Son, who with the Father and the Son is adored and glorified, who has spoken through the prophets. I believe in one holy Catholic and apostolic church. I confess one baptism for the forgiveness of sins, and I look forward to the resurrection of the dead and the life of the world to come. Amen. Let us pray. Our eyes are fixed on the Lord, and so we call to mind our needs, and we look to God for answer to our prayer. For the church around the world, that we may be a sign of the goodness of God in our weakness and humility, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For leaders in this country and around the globe, that they may acknowledge their own iniquities and look for God for strength and wisdom. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For prophets among us who witness to the grace of God and speak in the Lord's name, that they may be faithful to their calling and know the value of their work, even when they encounter resistance or rebellion. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For those who are unjustly incarcerated, that they may continue to have hope. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For the parish vocations committees for our archdiocese, that they will grow in appreciation of the task entrusted to them, and that the seeds of awareness they plant will grow to maturity through prayer and care. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. Merciful God, we know that you listen to the needs of your children. May your grace be sufficient for us in response as we strive to build your kingdom through Jesus Christ, our Lord.
pray, my sisters and brothers in Christ, that my sacrifice and yours will be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice of your hands for the praise and glory of his name, for our good and the good of all his holy church. May this oblation dedicated to your name purify us, O Lord, and day by day bring our conduct closer to the life of heaven. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with, and with your, your spirit. spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift, we lift them, them up, up to the Lord. Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It, it is right and just. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God, through Jesus Christ our Lord. For out of compassion for the sinfulness that is ours, he humbled himself and was born of the Virgin. And by the passion of the cross, he freed us from unending death. And by rising from the dead, he gave us eternal life. And so with angels and archangels, with thrones and dominions, and with all the hosts and powers of heaven, we sing the hymn of your glory, as without end we acclaim. are indeed holy, O Lord, and all that you have created rightly gives you praise. For through your Son, our Lord Jesus Christ, and by the power and the working of the Holy Spirit, you give life to all things and you make them holy. And you never cease to gather a people to yourself, so that from the rising of the sun to its setting, a pure sacrifice may be offered to your name. Therefore, O Lord, we humbly implore you, by the same Spirit graciously make holy these gifts that we have brought to you for consecration, that they may become for us the body and the blood of your Son, our Lord Jesus Christ, at whose command we celebrate this Eucharist. For on the night when he was betrayed, he himself took bread, and giving you thanks, he said the blessing. He broke the bread, gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when the supper was ended, he took the chalice. And giving you thanks, he said the blessing. He gave the chalice to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it. For this is the chalice of my blood, my blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. Therefore, O Lord, as we celebrate the memorial of the saving passion of your Son, his wondrous resurrection and ascension into heaven, and as we look forward to his second coming, we offer you in thanksgiving this holy and living sacrifice. Look, we pray, upon the oblation of your church, and recognizing the sacrificial victim by whose death 
you will to reconcile us to yourself. Grant that we who are nourished by the body and the blood of your Son and filled with his Holy Spirit, that we may become one body, one spirit in Christ. May he make of us an eternal offering to you, so that we may obtain an inheritance with your elect, especially with the most blessed Virgin Mary, the Mother of God, with blessed Joseph, her spouse, with your blessed apostles and glorious martyrs, with St. Francis and St. Clair, and with all of the saints on whose constant intercession in your presence we rely for unfailing help. May the sacrifice of our reconciliation, we pray, O Lord, advance the peace and the salvation of all the world. Be pleased to confirm in faith and charity your pilgrim church here on earth. With your servant Francis, our Pope, and John, our Bishop, the order of bishops and all of the clergy, and the entire people you have gained as your own. Listen graciously to the prayers of this family, whom you have summoned here before you. In your compassion, O merciful Father, gather to yourself all of your children scattered throughout the world. To our departed brothers and sisters and to all who are pleasing to you at their passing from this life, give kind admittance to your kingdom. For there we hope to enjoy forever the fullness of your glory through Christ our Lord, through whom we bestow upon the world all that is good. Through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. At the Savior's command, informed by his divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us, and lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our day, that by the help of your mercy we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the, For the kingdom, kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours now and, now and forever. forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, for you live and reign forever and ever. Amen. May the peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. Let us share that gift of peace now with one another. Lamb of God, you take away the sin of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sin of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sin of the world, grant us peace. Behold the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sin of the world. How blessed are we who are called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word and my soul shall be healed.
Let us pray. Grant, we pray, O Lord, that having been replenished by such great gifts, we may gain the prize of salvation and never cease to praise you. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with, and with your spirit. spirit. May Almighty God bless you, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. Our celebration is ended. Let us go in peace now to love and to serve the Lord. Thanks be to God. You in the silence, I will thank you up on your care. You will be my voice, I claim you as my choice. Archdiocese of Santa Fe Catholic Schools. Faith in Education. We are 15 elementary schools, St. Michael's and St. Pius X High School. Proven academics. 99% of our high school graduates attend college. Our schools are communities. Small class sizes and activities that bond students. Catholic values and traditions. Theology and community service programs. More affordable than you think. Have faith. In Catholic education. Archdiocese of Santa Fe Catholic Schools. Learn more today.